Lions football family has already seen a big win this season after tackling a tough cancer diagnosis. Two News anchor Julie Chin has the positively Oklahoma story of Kinsey's comeback. First and foremost, I'm a mom. Kinsey Gaylor is Addison and Kaysen's mom and a coach's wife. My husband, Adam, is the defensive coordinator at Jinx High School. And this past year, she became a cancer warrior. I had been very consistent with self-breast exams. Uh, noticed something a little different, and I was 38 at the time. The baseline screening for mammograms start at 40, so I'd never had a mammogram. On December 19th, I had my very first and my very last mammogram. Um, the radiologist read it. I had an ultrasound done the same day. They said, it's probably nothing. Um, but let's just do a biopsy just in case. The results came back two days before Christmas. I'm being a nurse. I immediately opened it and was thinking it was going to show a benign finding, and it showed the exact opposite, that I had um, invasive ductal carcinoma, which is a type of breast cancer. Days later, the news got tougher. I found out not only was it breast cancer, but it was one of the worst kinds of breast cancer you can have, and it was triple negative breast cancer. Telling her children was brutal. My son broke my heart when he told us, Mom, this might be your last Christmas with us. And that was the reality that we were facing. And that was really, really hard, really hard. And I promised him this will not be my last Christmas with you. The treatment plan, aggressive to beat this aggressive cancer. So the Gaylers decided to share their story on social media with a community they loved. At that time, I knew I'm going to go through six months of chemo. I'm going to have to have a double mastectomy. I'm going to go through extensive radiation. The treatment's going to be lengthy and it's going to be long. Um, and we're going to need all the support we can get. And so Adam put a Twitter announcement out just stating this is where we were at. And immediately, our phones were flooded with, how can we help? What do you need? We're here for you. Every day, there was a, a gift basket on our porch from football families, from the community, uh, flowers being delivered to our house, just an unbelievable outpouring of love and support during the most difficult time of our life. I've coached college football, I've coached guys that have played in the NFL, and, and there's no one person tougher that, that I've ever met than my wife. Through it all, Kinsey worked as a nursing instructor and didn't miss a moment of mom life. I wanted to be there for everything, and I didn't care how sick that I was. Um, after my very first chemo treatment, my daughter was in her first tournament for Jinx High School Soccer as a freshman. I wasn't going to miss it. I was so sick, but I was there. Um, I didn't miss a lacrosse game of my son's in the spring. I didn't miss anything. And as she took her treatments, she kept one big milestone on her mind. The first football game. I knew if I could get to that point in August that the really, really hard stuff would be behind me. And so during that first football game, crying during the national anthem, and just crying, and uh, when the players ran out, just I don't think they realized how much that I was looking forward to that time and what that meant to me, and to be there to see that. The team dedicated all of its games in October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, to Kinsey. They wore pink, made her an honorary team captain, and gave her a signed ball. And I just look at it and I smile because I can see the faces behind those signatures of those kids. And I love them like my own. And Kinsey has more to smile about. She just completed her final treatment. Right now I don't have cancer. You know, I am a cancer survivor. Nearly a year since she took on this battle, this warrior now taking each day as it comes and taking nothing for granted. When you think about this Christmas, mm -hmm. what do you envision? A piece. Just a piece of, we have done this, we have walked this hard battle, um, and just joy and love. Um, and happiness. Julie Chin, 2 News, Oklahoma. What an incredible story. Kinsey shared with Julie that 80% of women under 40 actually detect breast cancer through self-exams, so it's really helpful to be proactive.